Good morning, morning, Lancaster Lancaster Catholic. Catholic. I'm Michelle Lee. And I'm Anthony Prisco. Today is Wednesday, November 13th, AP Day. And here's what you need to know. Today's lunch is pizza in all lines. A reminder to all seniors, tomorrow is the deadline to order your graduation announcements, stationery, souvenirs, and more. Return the packet to Mrs. Sharp in the main office or go to sscgradstore.com. The Crusader Quiz Bowl team practices tomorrow in room 215 during both Crusader periods. Don't forget to bring your lunch and your notebooks. Varsity Club meets tomorrow at 7.20 a.m. in room 122. Members are reminded to bring in any orders for Christmas greens. The money will be used to buy gifts and necessities for our Christmas families. Be there to volunteer for our Toys for Toss collection. For all students who want to play a winter sport, your PIAA physical forms are due this Friday. The fall physical recertification doesn't count. You need a new one. You still have time to bring in items for our Thanksgiving food drive. It runs until November 21st. Homerooms that fill up more than three complete boxes will have a pizza party. Support families who are in need and get free pizza. The main office has a message for students who still have an elevator key. If you no longer need it, bring it back. Other students do need a key and you'll be charged $5 if you don't return it. We're getting a taste of winter this week. An Arctic cold front that brought freezing temperatures and heavy snow to the upper Midwest will push our nighttime lows into the 20s. The U.S. Supreme Court decides to allow the families of Sandy Hook victims to sue Remington for damages. Remington made the semi-automatic weapon used to kill little children and their teachers in the massacre seven years ago. The impeachment inquiry comes out from behind closed doors. Public televised hearings start today on Capitol Hill. Witnesses will testify whether President Trump violated his oath of office. It's based on a phone call to Ukraine's president asking for an investigation into Trump's political rival, Joe Biden. Britain's Queen Elizabeth announced she will no longer wear fur. That's a victory for animal rights activists. We have two reports on this subject of animal cruelty. First, here's Natalie Knox. Macy's is shedding its fur. One of the largest department store chains in the country has stopped selling animal furs under its own label, but it still carried furs from other designers. Now Macy's has announced that, as of 2021, it will stop selling all animal fur products. Just a few weeks ago, California became the first state in the nation to ban the sale and manufacture of new fur products. This is a huge win for animal rights groups, especially PETA. For more than 30 years, the international group has loudly protested against fur sales. Its activists went so far as to throw red paint on women wearing fur coats. I'm Natalie Knox. And I'm Jamie Ely. Pennsylvania, and especially Lancaster County, are notorious for their puppy mills. Animal rights groups complain that dogs in these commercial kennels are kept in tiny cages, bred repeatedly, underfed, abused, and unhealthy. Now, a bill named Victoria's Law has been introduced in the state Senate. It would ban the sale of commercially bred dogs in pet stores. The stores would only be allowed to sell rescue animals from shelters. It's named after a German shepherd who was left paralyzed after being forced to have 150 puppies over a 10-year period. Supporters say the law would be a win-win. More pets will be rescued from shelters, and people will not have to spend as much money on the sick animals they buy. Thanks, Jamie. Hey, let's give a big round of applause to our Crusader football team. They finished 10-2 for the season, which came to an end with a loss to Middletown in the district semifinals. Great job, guys. Heck of a season. And if your birthday is today, you share it with Matt Bennett. He's most known for his role as Robbie in the Nickelodeon show Victorious. Have a great day, Crusaders. Crusaders.